morning. Oh, here we are in North Wales, in Snedonia, and um, I'm just walking down the road here in uh, the Clamberis Pass, and um, I'm going to do uh, a sort of devious route up um, up Snowdon, sort of over the railway track, um, down the other side, up into another uh, bit of ridge, and uh, uh, I may explore a further coombe yet, but we'll see. Because um, it's a, it's going to be a mighty hot day today. And it's very pleasant at the moment, but uh, it's forecasted to be in the 30s. So uh, let's see how we get on. I might be curtailing it because I might just get too hot. But uh, plenty of water, plenty of sun cream. So let's see how we get on. Well, there's a couple of pathways, a couple of. Um, Bridges, foot bridges rather, that cross the uh, um, uh, the river coming down from Penny Pass. Um, I took the lower one. I don't advise that <laughs> to do a flanking move around a couple of houses that firmly say Priva. Um, so uh, yeah, but anyway, I managed to find a style. So as you can gather, it's kind of it's not totally pathless here, but it's fairly pathless. So um, yeah, happy days. But now it's time. It's only it's only what a quarter past nine. And the sun is already baking hot, so it's time to stick the, um, uh, the sun cream on and, uh, and then crack on very slowly up the hill. slabs they really are nice to go up and heaven a lovely breeze fantastic there's a few rock obstacles here um, I think I seem to remember I have done this before I've done the Fleckog but it's Fleckog by the way I have done the uh, this Fleckog harder scramble before in the past when I was young, fit and stupid, but now I'm old, scared and now I'm not sensible. <laughs> sure whether they're gentians or hairbells, but they're very nice. Bit of chossy scree, but then it wouldn't be North Wales if you didn't have a bit of chossy scree. Heather's fully out though, absolutely beautiful. So there's a grade two start which goes up that ramp and into the uh, into the shadowy cleft on the on the right and up to that cleft on the skyline. 
interesting how you read the rock in it. I, uh, back in the day, when I was a lot handier than I am now, I'd have read that as a scramble. To me now, it looks like a rock climb. <laughs> um, so I think we'll be bypassing that one um, and catch up with the grade one later on. Heather, Bilbury, and I think it's Tormintil. Real North Wales signatures. slabs or indeed walls like this. Well the smooth slabs are laying back a bit now so it's easy to pad up them. Oh, positive holes. Not been too many of them. See the uh, the Hlamberis Ridge of Snowdon, so can't be far now. Whew. Well, that was knackering. Boy, I'm both hungry and knackered. Bloody hell! Didn't expect it to be. I was I was pathetic coming up there. <laughs> Every mood move, move I made, I had to stop and pant. <laughs> but hey ho, we're on the top of Schleckhog at the moment. But uh, that's quite away from the top of Snowden. And uh, anyway, look at the view. feel a bit better for uh, having had something to eat and um, so I'm just weighing up. It's a nice breeze blowing so I don't feel so uh, terribly hot like I did before. Um, so I'm just eyeing up the next objective which I must admit looks fairly fearsome from here but uh, the usual stuff with uh, things in mountains you've got to get up close and personal before you can tell whether they're fearsome or not. Um, Mind you, the older I get, the more they really are fearsome. <laughs> well, that big crag there is Clogwin Dirardi. Cloggy for short, which is a fearsome climbing crag. Um, I guess it'd be regarded as a trad climbing crag these days, but certainly in the 60s, 70s and 80s, it was a real proving ground of hard routes. Um, and the scramble, Goes up the left-hand V of the V grooves in the in the uh, in the front face. So uh, let's see how we get on, or not. <laughs> well, this motorway is the uh, Flamberis Pass of Snowdon. Um, 
I've lost count how many times I've been up to the top of Snowdon, uh, but I've only been up this twice. Once when I was a little kid, and one time in winter when I did a round of um, all the hills in, on, on this side, including including them, which was uh, a really good round actually. Um, but yeah, bit of a motorway. Well, there's a few climbers on Cloggy. Um, fair play to them. Um, I've done a little bit of climbing myself, but uh, <laughs> there's nothing on Cloggy I could do. I think it starts easiest climbs. I think are HPS, and uh, I wasn't anywhere near that. <laughs> but yeah, fair play to them. That's where uh, my route goes, which is the climber's descent, and this is where the climber's ascent goes. I might be wrong, but I think that might be the Indian face. Is that an E8, I think it is. Bit hard for me. Ooh. Well, there was a few tasty moves down there, over big drops, you know. Mind you, I suppose if you just climbed the Indian face, it's going to seem like a pavement on the high street. Apologies for looking up my nose, but you get a view up the slab that way. I've been consumed by insects here, or at least landed on by insects, which was almost as bad. Anyway, glad to get that little bit done. Yeah, it's a bit wet down the bottom there, which is a bit interesting. The rest looks fairly straightforward, but uh, what a situation. Look at this. back <laughs> looking straight up amazing ah, you can tell I haven't done any scrambling for ages I misread the route down there and ended up on some uh, slimy wet slabs which I had to reverse on my arse so I have the telltale wet arse patch <laughs> however this is all looking very straightforward ghastly scree path or you could climb this splendid little ridge that I'm on. It's really smashing this is. It's like Buckleted Moor in uh, Glencoe. That curved ridge. Smashing. Holes everywhere.
this is where you end up. Absolutely spectacular. Mind you, there's a lot of wasps buzzing around here, so I think I'm going to skedaddle pretty quickly. Absolutely tremendous. You get some uh, amazing situations in uh, on Cloggy. <laughs> absolutely stunning. So anyway, let's uh, let's take a look what's up here. I think I end up on the uh, Rid V path to Snowdon this way. Uh, it's all quite early. It's only about half past one. Um, so we'll see how we feel <laughs> effort-wise to take a look at this uh, clog in mouth. I've had to do a lot of descent, I can see me not doing it. I've got to find my way down this other scramble yet. So anyway, let's see how we get on. Uh, that's the coom in question behind me. And uh, nah, I don't fancy, it's too much descent. I don't fancy descending all the way down there. So uh, I'll bimble up to the top of Snowdon with the crowds and uh, have some lunch somewhere and then uh, see if I can find the top of that scramble. Well, nearly there now. Poor old Snowden, eh? It's a bit abused for the highest point of uh, Wales railways and just past the digger and uh, masses of people, mind you. I am one of them, so I can't talk. But it's all good stuff. All good stuff. Well, I think this is the top of Ladies Gully, which is a fine winter route. This is the Trinity face with the, the three gullies of Trinity Gully. Finishing right near the top of the summit. Absolutely spectacular route. Really easy and really spectacular. Well, that was an interesting experience. I'm trying to remember the last time I was up Snowdon. Um, I'm sure it wasn't that long ago. Uh, about 2010, something like that. And maybe not, maybe a bit longer. And uh, I don't remember it like that. Um, maybe it wasn't full summer. But boy, oh boy. Crowded queue to get on the summit. And litter. Looking down that... Uh, Trinity Face, Clogwin and Garnet, I think his proper name is, and you can see all sorts of litter, you know, that's been sort of cast aside from, I don't know, either works on the Summit Cafe or anything too big to be just individuals, but, you know, I came up there with sort of bin bags full, but not in bin bags, you know, it's just awful. Oh, what a shame, you know. Well, is this highest point, and it's kind of ah uh, just sold out. Now yeah, this thing online, leave no trace, you know, which I wholly subscribe to. It's just like this is a a no leave no trace zone here. It's just uh, seem less uh, less litter in the uh, in a recycling centre. Anyway, hey ho, onward and upward. Just going up uh, Clogwin and Garnet now. And there's no people on here, it's really rather nice. I'll have a spot of lunch.
people say, I'm enjoying a sandwich. And my friend, the herring gull, would like to enjoy it too. <laughs> buttress just illuminated by the sun down there. I count the ridge that's just behind, the easier ridge just behind it. Some of the steps are quite interesting to come down facing out though. <laughs> Well, I think that's most of the difficulties done. Um, so it's just a case of taking it nice and easy down here to save my knackered old knees. And um, yeah, just uh, sit here, a moment of quiet reflection and a banana. How nice is that? There you go, that behind me is what we've just come down. It looks tremendous, doesn't it? Um, it's dead easy though. That's what we like, things that look tremendous, but are dead easy.
Oh well, not far from the car now. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself today. Um, a sort of mountaineering -y day, really. I've almost forgotten what they feel like. You know, it's all easy stuff, you know, grade one scrambles. But yeah, fantastic, bit of hands on rock, bit of route finding, completely off the beaten track, apart from Snowden's on it. But yeah, absolutely, thoroughly enjoyed it. The cloud, which hasn't made the filming so attractive, um, has been a real bonus actually. Just kept the heat at bay and there's a lovely breeze as well. So uh, couldn't ask for more really. What a cracking day. So uh, anyway, I have to watch where I'm going here, otherwise I'll fall over. <laughs> um, anyway, so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, as much as I did. And uh, catch you in the next one. Thank you.